video shows you how you can use the Teams Advisor available from the Microsoft Teams Admin Center as part of your Microsoft Teams rollout. The Teams Advisor is an automated process that sets up a brand new team for you and creates plans and forms to enable you to plan and review your uh, deployment. So I'm here in the uh, office.com homepage and I'm a uh, site admin. So I've gone on to the admin center and I'm going to go over onto the left hand side onto the Teams Admin Center. And this is where the planning and advisor tool is. Okay, so now that's loaded up, you can see on the left hand side there is an uh, item that says planning and underneath says Teams Advisor. So the Teams Advisor is a wizard, it guides you through the process, makes it really, really easy. So the first thing you need to do is look at what workload. So I'm going to look at chats, teams, channels and apps as my first workload, but I can come back and add the other one later. So I tick that and click next and then the next question is who is going to be involved in the team uh, who's going to be part of that deployment and planning team. So I go over onto the right hand side and I can go and search for the people who are in my team. So let's have a look and we'll add in uh, Megan. So just start typing the name into there in the same way that you'd add anybody into a team. And I am click the add button and then I'm also going to add in Alex as well. Lovely, and click apply. And then all I need to do is click save, and then it will start to create that team for me automatically. So it does take uh, a few seconds to do that. And you can see on the left hand side, uh, it shows you the progress through that. So I can see that it's currently creating pre populated planner plan uh, and your pre populated forms user survey. Uh, so just after that's done, then you'll get a message and then we'll be able to pop over to Teams to have a look and see what that looks like in practice. OK, so I can see that that's been done now uh, and it's given me the name of my team, which is deployment team. And I can see which workloads I've got plans for. So if I pop over now into the office homepage and let's go into Teams uh, and I can just show you what those plans look like. So I'm in the deployment team here. I can see that I've got two channels. One is the general channel, and then the other one is for chat teams, channels, and apps. Um, so the plan is held at the workload level. So I'm gonna click onto the chat teams, channels, and apps. Uh, and I can see that I've got the tab up here for planner. Uh, let's just maximize that so we can see a little bit more because there's lots and lots of items that are available, lots of detail to help you with that. So it goes all the way from setting up the planner and kickoff all the way through to organization wide rollout. Uh, so if we just click into this one here, so you can see here, we've got lots and lots of detail here, lots of notes to help you as part of that kickoff. Uh, it's got sub items. Uh, and if we go and have a look at some of the different cards, uh, there's even more. So this one here, this is about our adoption plan. We can see that we've got links out to Microsoft documents that are available online to help you as part of that. So you can just manage this in the normal way that you would do. It is just a planner board like anything else. So here I can assign this task to Megan um, and she can go in and have a look and kind of subcategorize that using those labels on the uh, right hand side and um, set it up so that it's in progress. Work through these these checklists here so that you as the team's administrator can always see what's going on. Um, if you add dates in to those, uh, if you add due dates into these, then these will appear in the schedule view. But you've also got the charts view so you can see which uh, which tasks are in progress, which tasks are assigned to which person and really kind of get that view there. So uh, the other thing as well is there is this assessment here. So we can see it says three out of eight completed for the chat teams channels and apps so this is an automated assessment that uh, is run for you across your tenant uh, and it shows you just some of those things so i can see the team's licenses are switched on i've got exchange online licenses i've got sharepoint online licenses but there are other items that i might want to consider such as guest access about configuring my vanity domain group naming standards group expiration configured and whether external access is configured so all of those are there and then there's a link there just at the top that says learn more. Uh, so if we click onto that, that takes you out onto a docs.microsoft.com page all about uh, the advisor for Teams. Um, and if we just scroll down here, we can actually see here. So it's got lots, lots of information there. 
but we can see here for those assessments it tells you what the success criteria is for each of those so you can see why you were marked as uh, with a tick or with a warning symbol so if i wanted to add another workload uh, so let's say i wanted to add the meetings callings uh, workload here i just need to click the add button uh, on my teams advisor uh, and it just takes me back into that wizard again so i click meetings and conferencing hit save and that will just do the same as it did before is create another channel in that team with all of those details in so just while that's creating through if we just pop back i just want to show you the uh, the review form which is created as well automatically for each workload and this is really useful for being able to just pull your users as you go through your adoption journey in and make those changes so we can see that we've got different things saying you know how do you rate it which features are you using how much are you likely to recommend recommend it and you know some free text comments so you can really take on board what people have got so what you can do is then share those with your pilot group as you go through your rollout uh, to make that work and work for you and keep abreast of what's happening so we can see here that we've got this additional channel now for meetings and conferencing so exactly the same as the other one here if we just click planner and again let's maximize that out because there's uh, lots of columns in here lots of detail to help you and again taking you all the way from setting up the project configuring meetings meetings and conferencing audio conferencing teams live events um to rolling that out in a pilot group or whether it's rolling out a location and then that ongoing teams management checklist uh, so again lots of detail here to help you with your rollout uh, and to try and make teams a success and because it's planner if we uh, just assign this to myself here uh, because it's just based on planner you'll be able to use that personal app on the left hand rail for planner uh, and you can view all of your tasks across all of your plans uh, simultaneously so you can really keep on top of your work using the task fabric that's available so if you want to find out more about Teams Advisor, all you need to do is go to docs.microsoft.com and look for Use Advisor for Teams. And there's lots and lots of useful information there that will help you as part of your rollout.